Hello again everyone, how are you all? Hope you're all well. I'm back again with another ZX Spectrum homebrew game review and today we have the, oh, focus. the Hair Raising Adventures of Mr. Hair. And there he is there, in cheeky little character that he is. I don't know why or what you were thinking making a hair as your main character but I'm glad you did. It's very different, I've never come across anything like this before. Uh, just the styling of it, the, the character of him. It's, it definitely comes across in the game. Um, this is a physical tape, which has been released by Bitmap, if you can see there. But what's great about these games is they also release these games as a free download. And you, if you want, you can just download it and see Div MMC, or you can like emulation or whatever. I'm one of these crazy people who likes to have a physical tape. And I really do appreciate the effort that they go to to produce a product which feels like it would have come out. And then again, I've got a lot of original Spectrum games and a lot of them don't feel this high quality. <laughs> Trust me. Some of them were definitely rushed out the door just to make money. Whereas you can tell with projects like this, with the game that's made, with the effort that's gone to with the presentation, it's done by people who care and appreciate the Spectrum. Um, and just homebrew games in general. I think across the board you get that really. Whether it's Commodore, CPC, uh, you know, whatever, Vic 20, you can tell that they're done by people who have grown up and appreciate the games. They're not rushed out just to make profit. And I like that. Right, let's get on with the actual tape itself. Uh, Bitmap always knock it out of the park with these. Different colour tapes all the time. And full colour stickers on both sides. And the inlays themselves are really super quality. Um, as you can tell there, it's like quite thick card, uh, full colour again, nice artwork throughout. I love the way it sort of wraps around and goes all the way around to the back because you didn't need to do that. It's just a little bit extra. And the same with the inside. I mean, how many people are going to see this? But it's just the extra effort. It's really nice. Um, this game here has been made by these people here. Um, Lee Chop Stevenson. He's the guy who coded this, and I think this was the first game that he coded. He's not been making games very long. Um, I may be wrong, but if this is your first game or your first attempt and you've got it onto a physical tape, well done, mate. That's impressive. It really is. Uh, and I do like this game. I like the humour in it as well. And there's some screenshots of the actual game itself. So, yeah, that's the game I'm going to be reviewing today. Um, oh, and... Stick around, because at the end of this video, there's going to be a bit of an exclusive. Um, just, yeah, watch the end and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. Before I review this one, I can't just review one Mr. Hair game. Because Mr. Hair is a trilogy. And I absolutely love that, because I'm, I'm going to go over these in a minute and show them off. But whatever you learnt on this one here, you really improved with the second game. And then you've gone and done something else with this one. So the second game is Mr. Hare and the Fly. Exclusive. Watch to the end. I'm telling you now. Um, is another game. His second game. And there's so much more in depth than this one. There's a lot more going on. Uh, both you and the Fly are playable characters in this game. Again, really nice tape. Different colour. Nice artwork. Should just have that on like repeat. And again, the inlay. And more graphics on the inside. And there is some screenshots of the game. Yeah, this one, it, it's something special, this one. It really is. Um, we will get to that one at some point. What I'm going to do, I might have said it already, um, is I'm just going to play the games go one life let you know what i think about the game what i enjoy what i don't enjoy and then i'll move on to the next one otherwise this video is just going to go on forever i don't do in-depth game reviews i just do do i like the game is it enjoyable my benchmark for a game is is the game even when i die making me go just one more i could do better you know what i mean does it make you want to come back back and play again that's my benchmark for how good a game it is. And then you get ones right way above that. And other games, like, I've played it once. I'll never play that again. It happens. Trust me. Even with the new Hamburg games. There's games where I've loaded up, sat there, played and gone. Wow, that was a bit crap. Next. But 
anyway this one here is we have super hair and i do love the sort of pop art style and as you can tell as well it's very very different to these two that's because it is a very different game um yeah i love the superhero style sort of like old comic books and you've got your artwork as well on the front and they've continued the same theme and again on the inside big eyeball uh, and what is different about this game is this one actually is a shooter. Um, an enjoyable shooter. And as far as shooters go in the ZX Spectrum, quite a good one. Um, the one thing you suffer with when you play um, the original shooting games on the Spectrum is I can never bloody see where the bullets are. But this one, they've got around that by keeping it one colour and making the background black. So the bullets that are coming towards you, you can see them. So, yeah, it's just there's nothing worse than playing a shooting game and you can't see where you are on the screen or where the bullets are. You know what I'm talking about if you've played them. Right, so, yeah, I'm going to get on. I will play this one first, let you know what I think about it and move on down the line to the trilogy of the Mr. Hair and what a trilogy it is. And again, exclusive. Watch to the end. Catch you in a bit. Right, here we are. We are at the beginning of the hair raising adventures of Mr. Hair. Uh, just leave on for a minute so you can hear the intro music. I do like the music on this game, it's really enjoyable. Right, what have we got? So, you've got your um, menu, normal manual screen here. You can choose what you want to use. You've got Kempston. And here's our game. Right, and that's it. You there, Mr. Hare, you can jump with your fire button, move left and right. I don't know what that's doing. Oh, climbing. When he's doing that up and down, it makes you climb up and down. Just looks like he's dancing, look. Right, the object of this game is well, it looks like your basic platformer. You've got to avoid all the enemies as usual. Um, quite precise um, platform elements on this as well. And I'm going to attempt now to play this without looking for the view. But I find myself doing that quite a lot. Uh, there's a bloody delay on it as well. So let's see if we can get through. You've got to be sort of pixel perfect. And get round here. But yeah, it's a really solid platform game. I mean, when I say solid, I mean good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, it's, it's, you can tell it's very well thought out. When you mess up, it's because you messed up. It's not because you died in a cheap way. Right, you see here, these are the pentagram things. That is what you've got to collect along the way. You've got to go round the levels and everything else and collect all them and get to the end. But if you look around here as well, it's not that simple of how you get to it. Um, not nine times out of ten, it will make you go off on a tangent somewhere else, a couple of other screens, and then come back to this screen, which this one is doing. See, so we're up here. I kept dying here earlier doing that. I don't know why I kept. There we are. Got up. You do have to be very wary as well of these. Uh, when I was first playing it, you don't tend to notice them because they're quite small, but the spikes will kill you instantly. You've got your health, uh, not health, you've got your lives down here. You've got five lives. Um, five lives, you're dead, back to the beginning, start over. No holding your hand on this game. And I love this as well, it's like it gives you a little sneak peek of where you've got to get to. And again, back down here, look. But now I can't go anywhere apart from up and back round again. So there's an awful lot of backtracking on yourself. You can see where you need to be. You've just got to figure out the route to get there. I mean, I'm, I still can't get over there. I've got to head over this way and round again. So it's, it probably makes you think. Um, vines, you can climb up and down. So over here, the way I get over this water is I have to go through the vines and back down again. Here is the door 
to the next level. I actually struggled to see that when I was first playing being colorblind, but yeah, that's where it is. There we are, there. And across here, back again. So I mean, it was like, it makes you go round and round and round. So that's like, was it three or four times I've had to leave this level to come back? And across to get the pentagram. There we are. So that's it, just gotta keep going, keep finding your way around, avoiding the enemies. Gotta be careful, there we are. And onto the next screen. And if we just look at this, you, you've got to plan it out. Uh, if you like and know your Spectrum games, you know that a lot of games were like this back in the day. Oh, dead. I will probably die quite quick on this one. And up on the rope. It's all about timing. Where the hell's that guy going? But this is what I like about this game. When I say about, oh, I'm going to play it for a bit and go out, the type of game that makes you want to come back and then you'd learn this screen and then you'd go to the next screen and you'd learn that and each time you go just a bit and a bit and a bit further. Uh, that, to me, is a good game. Got me. I paused. I shouldn't have paused. Go on, I've got to at least get past this screen. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> that was my fault. Didn't go right to the edge of the platform before I jumped. Oh, I've got three lives left. Can I do it? Too soon. <laughs> it doesn't look like I'm going to. <laughs> go on, I've got to shut up a bit more of this game. I have done better than this, I promise. <laughs> Whenever I've said this before, but whenever I'm doing a review, I tend to do a hell of a lot worse on games than I normally would. Oh, poop! <laughs> Not gonna swear. <laughs> That's life. Can we do it? Oh. Why am I over there? Wait. Got it. <laughs> Where am I? I'm there. Right, I tell you now, I, I'm gonna die very quickly. I'm just glad I got past that screen. Uh, this one as well, if you think how you get it off, these are also platforms. So you have to go along it, up, across, and everything else, and there's your next pentagram. Uh, let's plan this out. I've been playing a lot of the other um, Mr. Hare game. Oh, that was my stupid fault. I bounced off there. I do like that. Another one bites the dust by Queen. As we're talking about the humour, I do like that. So that's Miss Dare. Oh, if you'd like Queen as well, when you get to the end of this as well, there's another song that plays, so. It does make you want to come back and play it again. I am better at this game, I promise. But for a quick review, for a quick little bit of gameplay, um, yeah, that is the adventure, Hair Raising Adventures of Mr. Hare. And it is a very, very good platformer. It'll make you want to come back, go to the next screen, memorize it, get to the next one. And it's it, you complete this. You can finish this game in like a good 25, 30 minutes, just playing all the way through. But it's fun. I do enjoy this game. So now we're going to move on to a quick gameplay of Mr. Hare and the Fly. And this takes this game and just like ramps it up. It really does. So yeah, let's cut to that now. Right, here we are at the beginning of Mr. Hare and the Fly. Um, it's got the music at the beginning as well, which plays for the game throughout, which I think is quite nice. Um, you've got your usual, starting with the uh, keyboard, Kempston and Sinclair. So I'm going to be uh, obviously picking the Kempston. Well, I say obvious, it's not obvious to everyone, but it's obvious to what I use. And here is the intro. And you notice as well already, um, 
It looks a lot more futuristic because there's actual machinery and things, everything involved in this one. Um, the idea of this game, you see the hair there jiggling about, um, is you need to uh, collect the batteries which powers up equipment, um, but then you've also got to unlock keys, as, uh, get keys to unlock different areas along the way. There's an awful lot of backtracking backwards and forwards with this game, which I think definitely adds to the replay value. Um, it's a bit of a maze, you've got to figure out where you're going and obviously avoid the enemies. The first little stage here. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you see at the top there. Before we go into it, you've got four lives, and this bar here is your health bar. And you can recharge that, as you can see there, recharge as you go. You've just got to come back to this area that we're at to begin with. So if you're down on, on life, just come back here, recharge yourself, go back out again, try again. Uh, I think that's very fair, to be honest. Uh, I've played games where, well, let's face it, I've played Ghosts and Goblins, and you've got like two hits, dead, start back at the beginning, you know. Or some games where it's just like, you, you die so often and start back at the beginning. So you can climb up and down this thing here, or you could just jump off. And the idea of the game is you've got to go and search around for... To avoid these. That's what's nice about having the actual health bar, is you can take a hit. Every time you fast there, you take a bit of life off you, but... Going this way. I probably won't play too much this game because um, not just I don't want to give a lot of it away, but just want to give you a general idea of. But like, there's the batteries that I've got, um, and that's just got that there, so I can go across. Did you see it appear the bridge? But without collecting that, I can't get that, and then I can't go and get the next battery to open other things and. Yeah, you know I mean it's all about unlocking areas, finding little secrets. No, um, walkthroughs are good with a game like this because the amount of times I've gone backwards and forwards over the same area and realised I missed something. I know, I know, it's in a simple way, but it's got a kind of Metroid, Metroid feel. You know, the whole get off me! God damn it, he's stuck right to me the whole way. Then, <laughs> right, start again. <laughs> That was annoying, but what's good about that is the pair up that I just got, which unlocked that bridge, I haven't got to go back to get that again. Just mistime that. See, so it's still here. So you're not redoing the same bit over and over again. What's up here? That's another, it's locked at the moment, so that's one that you unlock to get to another area. So. Got it. I like to kill you. I never said. It's a good game. I didn't say it was an easy game. These enemies are a pain in the ass. Like to stick to you. I do like the music now. So that's giving me that. Get off! God damn it! Do you know what? I played these games, I know I've said it already, but I played these games beforehand and I actually did quite well. And then you start recording and you're like, come on, give me a break. <laughs> I'm not even going to get to the bloody fly at this rate. But hey, if I don't get to the fly, that's all right. That gives you something to go for when you play it. Let's avoid this little guy. And I'm sure that unlocked this. Oh no, not that yet. I did that unlock it. Don't like those. Huh. 
I'm lost. I forgot where I'm going. <laughs> See, no, it's not that way. I've just come all the way this way for no reason. Let's talk about the backtracking that is. I bet it's all the way over the other way. See if it was the other way. Do you know what? Whilst I'm here, let's go and get some. Let's go get some health. <laughs> Gives me at least another fighting chance, eh? I just forgot where I've got to go. It's a nice feature though, that though, isn't it? Really, you can uh, restock your health and come back and try again. Actually, I think I know where it is. I'm going. about those get off the little alien creatures the face huggers look right let's see what that opened there I'm not gonna go and recharge the text stuff so that as a walk straight into a boulder. Is it this one yet? No. life last life it is it is a fun game if you know what you're doing uh, and, and you know i bet you the people who have played this game through are shaving at the screen right there say go there the idiot go that way <laughs> yep yeah, i'm an idiot i'm an idiot but i'm enjoying what i'm doing whilst i'm being an idiot Net wrong with that. Aha, there. That's where I've got to get to. It's where I was heading to. Before I got attacked. Oh, that's it. Oh, didn't take too much da damage there. Hey! Get to the next bit. To another area. That's free fall. I'm sure I've probably gone the wrong way. I'm gonna jump up there. Yeah. Will you face hugger? Bugger off. Oh! So close! Come on! Yeah, that's just me. But hang up the music again. At least you get a good song when you die. But anyway, you go and you keep going and you collect all these and eventually you'll get to a chamber which will switch you over that you can be the fly and then you go and do bits over there which unlock areas when you come back and switch back to the hair and then it's backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. You've got to explore and know where you're going. I clearly don't know where I was going. Yeah, I've played this before. I got to the head. I got to the fly. I did that level and came back. And then I died. But hey, this is done in one take. I'm just bad at games. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So, Mr. Hare and the Fly. How is this as a game? 
amazing. It really is. It's it makes you explore. It it's really fair with its health and its life and its pair not pair ups um, with its recharge. Um, and just a game that makes you want to come back. Now I'll know where I'm going. I'll come back and I'll know where the enemies are. I'll know it's jumping. Plus it's got bloody face huggers in it. And the Bee Gees mocking you when you die. Staying alive. But yeah, that is that is that one. And it is a very enjoyable game. Go and get yourself a copy of this if you can. And yeah, just give it a go. It's a fun game. Right. Now let's load this one up. I can't be terrible at this one, can I? Of course I can. In a bit. Right, here we are with uh, Super Hair. That is this one here. And if you thought I was bad at playing these two earlier on, uh, you're in for a treat. I'm not bad at playing these games. They're just terrible whilst I'm recording. Um, I'm useless at shooters. I really am. I just, I don't know what it is about them. I love the idea of them. I love playing them. But I just die again and again and again. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. But anyway, as the presentation of this goes, I do love the way this looks around here. Your play field is just going to be this here, which is quite normal. We're, although with Spectrum games, especially shooters, that's actually quite big. Sometimes you're limited to like a, just a slice down the side. Um, I was going to be playing this with a joystick. But the two Sinclair joysticks that I've got are both knackered. And I'm not surprised this one is. And there's your intro for this game. Oh, not doing it. That's that bloody joystick not working. Let's just remove the joystick. Um, so, what we got? Q and A. I'm going to be playing this with the keyboard then, so it's going to be even worse. And you know what? That will be my excuse. Q and A, P and O, and space bar. Get ready to see the most shocking um, gameplay footage you've ever seen. So, yeah, let's go for it. Keyboard. The joysticks are hard. One wouldn't go up and one wouldn't go backwards. So, See what I mean, though, about the putting on a black background? You can see everything that's coming. Uh, what was I playing the other day? Gemini Wing? And you cannot see anything. Right, with this game here, you can't touch anything. You touch something, you're dead. you got plenty of lives. Ugh. Anyway. Oh, no, sorry, when I say that, I forgot you do actually have a health bar. What was it? What game was I playing? Were you dying instantly then? It must have been a different one. Yeah, you have a health bar, right? Again, pretend I, I know what I'm talking about when I haven't really got a clip. And this is the type of game that the turbo buttons were invented for. Uh, I'm, really, I'm really trying to concentrate. Oh, oh, that looked like a star in the background. Damn you. <laughs> You've seen how much you can see, and I'll just go straight into something. Um, these levels, they're, they're not too long, and each one does end with a, a boss fight. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many levels there are, um, because I'm never going to get that far. Let's go all the way forward and up. You do sort of have to learn the patterns of where everything's coming from and hit, mash the fire button as much as you can. I'm sure there are. Oh, there you go. Pair ups. No, no, no. I want that pair up. There we are. Got my health back. Hey, I'm doing better than I've done before. A lot better than done before. Uh, just keep pushing the... Can we get to the boss? Oh, I'll, I'll, if I get to the boss and die, I'll be happy. Come on, doing well. Not doing well. <laughs> 
Oh, does it stop me back at the beginning? No, it doesn't. Not right back at the beginning. That's good. I think. Was that not back at the beginning? No, it is back at the beginning. Go forward. But how with actually pressing the right keys? Oh, I'm never going to get to a boss. <laughs> Not this right. Got it. Oh, it looks like it makes me invincible for a little bit, that does. I should really believe in myself, shouldn't I? But as for the last day to finish the hair, it, it's a definite break from what we're having before. And you know what? It is. It's fun. It's it's get off, get off. Just should just keep shooting. <laughs> I should shut up with the key in uh, games like this. Oh, have I made a boss? Have I made a boss? No, I was supposed to probably shoot through there. Oh, I have, I made a boss. And I'm gonna die. There, yeah, I'm dead. can't seem to get the pattern right. Nope, there again. Have we got any more lives? Mash buttons move. Mash buttons are move. <laughs> it's like I'm moving directly into him. I made it easier for him that time. And what music got for this one? Yeah, that, that's the face I'm making now. I sad. So, the Mr. Hair trilogy. What do I think? Um, I think they're great. I really are, despite how badly I have played them. Um, definitely well worth, well, well worth getting uh, a copy of these. Or they're free downloads. Go and download them and go and enjoy them. The people who made these games have made them for you to enjoy them. Um, so yeah, 100% go and get yourself some of these, uh, give them a go, and yeah, that's my thoughts, they, they're great, I, I, I enjoy them, I will get better, I promise I'll get better. Right, now, as promised, let's actually pan down a bit, a little bit of an exclusive, Mr. Hair on the Fly has been made for the ZX Spectrum. But not everyone has a ZX Spectrum. So what the guys have done, they have taken this game with the limitations that it had, um, could only be a certain size, you could uh, have extra bits and stuff in because it's got to run on the Spectrum. They have done a Mr. Hare and the Fly remix for the um, PC. And what's great about that is it's accessible for everyone you don't have to have the hardware you don't have to be a crazy fan to uh, to enjoy it and, and another good thing as well is you're not limited to the spectrum the new mr hair and the fly has got twice as much um twice as much area to to explore it's got new cutscenes. it's got new bosses it's got new music it's got um level difficulty you can pick three different difficulties as well if you're a proper hardcore gamer which from the viewing this today you can tell i am not i'm your casual enthusiast so i'll be sticking to the easy so i'm going to cut now and i'm going to show you some of the screenshots i've got from that new game and please get behind these guys go and give them your support and more importantly go and play and enjoy the games because that's what they're there for 
Right guys, thanks for watching. I will leave you now with the um, footage from the new Mr. Hare and the Fly remastered game. Thanks for watching guys. See you again soon.